Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. Uh, it is Sunday. I didn't vlog yesterday. Uh, it was my day off. I worked really hard, and I just didn't feel like vlogging at all. Uh, I didn't miss a whole lot. Just uh, a lot of <laughs> rum drinking and, and just goofing off, really. And just uh, being with the family and all that stuff. So, so today is just uh, rest recoup, hanging out at the cottage, people are going for kayak rides, swimming, we had a big eggs and bacon breakfast uh, this morning, so our tummies are all full, and uh, Ben and I have to get back somewhat early today, uh, so we have to go back to the house and I have to finish the ice cream sundaes. I'll try and do a couple more little snippets of vlog for the day. Uh, I guess the sun is out. I don't know why my father-in-law hasn't put out the, the awnings, but I guess this doesn't feel like having them out. Anyway, talk to you. And we're back. I uh, just have to uh, get somebody to move their car. When you have big parties at the cottage, you get car pile up. And then you have to try to, you always try to plan ahead and say, if I'm gonna leave at this time, you have to try to make yourself in a position where you can get out of your spot. Anyway, goodbye to the cottage. We are set to go. Thank you. Jeez. Oh, I was jamming. Ben was jamming to the beats. I was beats. jamming out. What are you doing? I'm listening to music. <laughs> Ben's listening to the music. Anyway, so that was uh, hanging out at the cottage for a day and a half. And we came up Friday night, so we had Friday night all day Saturday. Mm -hmm. Ben slept until like 12.30. I was really tired that day. I slept in. I slept 12 hours last night. I don't remember... The, I don't remember looking at the clock to see what time I went to bed, but like I said in my other It was 8.30ish. It was 8.30ish. 30. So, so I had, like I said, I was celebrating my 100,000 subscribers, partying with my family, had a bit too much to drink, and just wanted to go lie down for a little bit, uh, but I ended up falling asleep for a couple hours, and I'm like, oh, if I just get up now, and it's going to wreck everything. So I just slept in. Next thing you know, it's... 9.30 the next day, so it's like 13 hours, I guess. Anyway, and then Ben was playing a game. What was the game you were playing? That you almost won? Or you're winning for a bit? It's a card game. Queens or? Five crowns. Five crown. I knew it had something to do with a queen and a crown or some type. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so we have uh, about an hour and a bit drive home, and I will continue vlogging from there. How was the party, Ben? What did you think? It was fun. Uh, tiring because I was like a babysitter a lot of the time for our two little cousins. And uh, one of them is six years old and the other one is like two. Mm -hmm. So One of them just started school, I know that. Right, that's Lily. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we'll uh, talk to you later. And we're back home. So I am cooking uh, wow. pierogies wow. for dinner tonight. I'm gonna try and shoot it without showing that back window there. Um, so what I'd like to do is boil my pierogies. I guess I should have showed you the bag. So we just buy like no name pierogies, nothing super exciting special. So it's the potato cheese pierogies, uh, no frills has them. I don't even know how much they cost. They're not expensive at all. It's a very inexpensive meal to cook. Uh, so I like to boil it for about five minutes and that just gets them thawed because they came right from the freezer. And then I'll drain them in the sink in my colander. And then I will throw them in my frying pan. I've already melted butter in there just in preparation for it. Uh, once I've drained it, thrown them into the frying pan, I start frying them up on like a medium heat. And uh, then I add some chili powder. It's like a sprinkling of it across all of them. Uh, garlic powder. Paprika. 
and it's all about your own taste. So you try putting stuff on once, and if you like it or you don't like it, you put less or more on. And then the last thing that I put on on my own plate is uh, cayenne pepper, and that makes them nice and hot. Uh, I put cayenne pepper in the cooking process a couple times just to give it a nice taste and everybody hated it because it was just too hot uh, and then what I do is we put about six or seven on a plate uh, we really like putting um, ranch dressing drizzle that ranch dressing on top of it and then I might actually put some paprika that's when I put my paprika on it I'm uh, sorry my uh, cayenne pepper cayenne pepper and uh, I will show you what that looks like in just a minute hang on welcome back to cooking with camp one of the main uh, things I forgot to tell you is you have to cook uh, and have a beer while you're cooking. It just makes the whole process so much more fun. Uh, unless you're under the age, uh, depending on what country and state and province you live in. Hmm. And our pierogies are almost boiled. They're ready to be strained. I'm gonna have to put you down while I strain. You know what, I've got like a little tripod on this camera. Let's try it out. We are coming across. We are pouring them into the colander. Then I pour them back into the pot. Put my frying pan back on the stove. Pour these guys in here. Oh. And these are, I think, just the just the cheese and uh, onion, I believe. I didn't even look at the bag. So at this point in time, they look like this. I'm just gonna flip my screen around so you can see what I'm doing, or I can see what you're seeing. So I just put some of the chili powder on it. I just do it until they're lightly covered like that. And then we will grab the garlic powder, the one-handed cook, just a little bit, not too much. And I would love to hear back from you guys what you like to put on your pierogies. And of course, this is the uh, paprika. That gives it a nice wow. color and taste. And what you do is you shake it up. This is one of those things you need to practice. When I was teaching my kids how to do that, uh, what I do is I put a doily in just a pan that's not uh, hot. <laughs> so there's no hot, there's no nothing. You just have a frying pan, put in a doily or a piece of cloth, and you just practice making it go around, and then you flip it. Look at the color on them now. They're not already cooked properly yet and the, the color on them is amazing. And that, oh, can't see myself. There we go, flip the screen. And that's how you cook pierogies or that's how I cook pierogies. Like I said, uh, in the description below, show me the, or let me know some of your recipes and what you like to put in there. I'm sure a lot of you guys like to put onions in there and fresh garlic, those are like, you know, those, those are, are not bad things to put in there, uh, but let me know in the comments below. I just wanted to show you the ending ending product. So right now, I just wanted to give you the heads up that I cook them to the sound where it sounds like they're almost scratching the pan. So we like our uh, pierogies, uh, not on the, the, the uh, soft side, so we like to uh, crisp ours up, uh, and that's why I fry them the way I do. So I just wanna show you the presentation. I'm gonna get my plate ready. That's the best thing about being the cook. Is you, get, you can eat first if you want. And like I said, guys, I would love to hear your recipes and your ideas behind pierogies. So there you go, there's six. I prefer like seven or eight. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Look at that, oh. And then I drizzle some ranch dressing on it. Some people like sour cream, but I like ranch. There you go. And then I put my cayenne pepper on it. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Does that not look yummy? 
Look at that. Oh, sweet. Well, there you go, guys. That's Cooking with Ken on my vlog channel, just for fun. Just because I know this vlog wasn't going to be very long, so I thought I'd show you what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. Well, there you go, guys. That was my vlog for the day. Sorry I didn't get one out yesterday properly, but that's life sometimes. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, Sunny says hi. Say hi, Sunny. Uh, and Louis was there, too. Just in case, you, oh, you can see him through the screen. Nice. Uh, so I thought I'd just do a little cooking show for you. Look at my ping. And look at I Ben's ping. Play. So he says, and you can't play. Uh, so, yeah. Guess what day to tomorrow is? Tomorrow is Ghost Pepper Day. Yep. So I might add a bit of that into the vlog, but that's a special video for my 100,000th subscriber video. And that will be going on my main channel. So I should be alive tomorrow night. Don't know. So we're going down to Paul's house after his work. And a little kitten just came up. Monkey. You're a monkey, aren't you? You are so monkey. Oh, he's trying to claw my camera. He wants to be in the cameras. Anyway, guys, have a great... Whoa! He just jumped right onto there from there. Oh, hello. Anyway, I'm going to have to start... I have to stop a cat fight now. Anyway, guys, talk... What's well, just the cat wants on my lap? Can you come on my lap? Oh, my. My cats don't even do that. I'm going to have to trade up. Or trade down. I'm not sure. Look at that. He just crushed his head. I wouldn't do that. It's Sunday. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Meow. Meow. My cats are pissed. <laughs>